All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I might have just gotten clickbaited by the following video. Jordan River has finally dried up and something terrifying is happening. As you can see, the thumbnail says it's over now. Very, very scary stuff. We're going to find out if it is clickbait or not. Guys, just do me the favor before we start the video. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With no further ado, let's have a look. We all have heard of the Jordan River. The Jordan River is famous for its spiritual significance in many religions. But True. did you know that this river has recently started drying up? Why is the river drying? Coming from a Christian background, of course, the Jordan River has huge significance because Christians believe that Jesus Christ was baptized in the Jordan River. What could this mean for the fate of humanity? How will the Muslims be affected by it? Keep watching the video to find the answers to these Let's intimidating go. questions. In the history and culture of the Middle East, the Jordan River plays a significant role. The Jordan and the Euphrates River have been mentioned in the Bible and Holy Quran. Exactly. The Jordan River plays an important role in the development of countries like Palestine, its biggest city, Jerusalem, Egypt, Jordan and Syria. It has provided water for the irrigation of crops ever since mankind began establishing itself here. So basically, the river Jordan has been feeding the ancestors of some of the biggest Muslim countries to come. Today, the flowing water is also a source of energy obtained using dams or other generators. But something Smaller. terrifying is happening with the Jordan River. What is it? The Jordan River is drying up. But what is it that is happening due to the decline of the Jordan River? Before taking a look at that, we have another question which makes us all go into deep thought. What made the Jordan River it's very dry mysterious, up? This video, eh? It's a victim of the conflict, the definitely. It's a victim of people because it's what we did as people to the river. Basically, and now adding to all this, it's a victim of climate change, said Yana Abu Talib. This pretty oh, much sums up no, everything. No, I definitely got clickbaited, The river man. dried Don't up because of climate people. Change. People overused its resources. Sure. More than enough water was taken of from course. the river for agriculture needs. The agriculture sector that. played an important role in the exports of these countries especially crops. So the drying of the Jordan River proves It's really so sad to see that even Islam is being infiltrated with all of those woke concepts such as climate change. If you look into climate change, the first time they started warning about this was 1896. Of course, this was pushed by the United Nations and moreover back then it wasn't climate change, but it was global warming. Now all of a sudden they realize, hmm, it's not getting hotter after all, so we're going to call it climate change. It's absolutely ridiculous and it's a shame that Muslims fall for this propaganda. Greatly disastrous for the neighboring states. People never cared about saving water. Another reason for the drying of this river were the dams. Stronger countries like Israel built a large number of dams on this river. Yes, Due to the large that makes number of sense. Dams, if you're building a dam, then the other side will dry up. But this is not due to climate change. The water kept getting lower. With the course of yeah, time, makes the sense. Jordan River Logical. was turned into barren land by no one but people. You're cutting off the to supply. To top it off, Duh. Syria suffered from a severe drought in the past few years, which further devastated the whole scenario. Yes, and droughts come and go. They are natural phenomena, and yes, they've been described as well, for example, in the Torah and in the Bible. However, this is not climate change. Also supported by the decades-old Israeli really violations man. and rivalry over precious water. With so many Syrian refugees in Jordan, and the surrounding countries, the demand for water has only been increasing in the countries which are nearer to the drying areas of the river. The birth rate is constantly increasing. The agricultural demands are constantly increasing. The powerful countries like Israel, with the support of more powerful governments of the world, are diverting the route of the river to create dams and agricultural water here, not resources change, guys, right? for their own people. It is a disaster for millions of people who do not belong to strong and powerful governments and they are mostly Muslims brothers and sisters. The natural and the political geography of the world is slowly making the Muslim countries and populations miserable by the day. That's absolutely Christians correct. all across the world 
come to the Jordan River around the year. But when it dried, it was like an empty desert where no flower blooms. Dams no longer produce enough electricity due to which the people are suffering from an electricity crisis. The Syrian refugee camps have been the main target of destruction by this Jordan River crisis. Diseases are increasing in the refugee populations because of lack of sanitation. This whole situation is worse in itself, but what really alarms us is when we look at the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, which had already the predicted the famine that this world will go through toward the end of times. According to the hadith reported by Abu Umama radiallahu ta'ala an, before the Jal appears, there will be three difficult years in which the people will suffer severe famine. In the first year, Allah will command the sky to withhold one third of its rain and the earth to withhold one third of its produce. In the second year, He will command the sky to withhold two thirds of its rain and the earth to withhold two thirds of its produce. In the third year, He will command the sky to withhold all of its rain and not a single drop will fall and the earth to withhold all of its produce and nothing will grow all cloven hoofed animals will die except those that Allah wills. It was said, what will the people live on at that, that time? He said, tahleel, takbir, tasbih and tahmeed that will take the place of food for them. Brothers and sisters, the way the Jordan River is drying up and the Muslim communities around the river are suffering, one is forced to wonder, are we getting closer to the end of times? Are the three it years of famine be. just about to begin? Is Dajjal just about to appear among us? May Allah protect us all and our Iman from the fitna of Dajjal. All right, this is it for today's video. Shame on me, I got clickbaited here. But as I said throughout the video, what is even a greater shame is, of course, that Muslims fall for the climate change propaganda, that they fall for the same tactics promoted by the United Nations or promoted by the World Economic Forum. Of course, there are environmental impacts by human beings that do pollute our planet. However, this does not contribute to climate change or, as I mentioned, as it was called beforehand, and global warming. The biggest heat source for our planet is obviously the sun and therefore our temperatures are driven by the sun. We've seen cycles of activity from the little ice age to the present day. Those cycles are called relational cycles, for example the Delton minimum. And during these cycles we actually see the sun decreasing its heat output. So therefore the morale of the story here is sometimes you have hotter periods and then you have colder periods. This is absolutely natural and has been happening for millennia. Humans have nothing to do with this. All right, guys. But this is it for today's video. If you liked it, nevertheless, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.